Hi Sag, thank you for joining me for your February reading. Please remember that this is general, so it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. It's also timeless and not gender specific. So because time and energy is fluid, it means the roles can be switched. So please do bear that in mind if you're cross watching. But because this is Sagittarius's reading, I will be addressing them. It can easily be reversed though, okay? So always, always use your own judgment, your discernment and your intuition whenever you're watching any tarot you take what's resonating for you and you leave what doesn't also i cannot censor choose nor control what's coming out of the cards i'm literally just reading them and it's up to you what you decide to do with it you do have free will and tarot is not in charge you are for everything else please read the descriptions box okay so let's get into your reading for you then uh, sagittarius um, now, usually these beginning of the month reads are engineered towards you. Uh, the love romantic ones are the mid month ones. However, if love and romance does come out of this read, then of course I will address it. Okay, right. So your first card out, movement, choices and decisions. That's the two of coins. Um, the two of coins is Jupiter in Capricorn energy. You've then got another two. So it's two twos, the waiting game, and that is the two of wands, um, Aries energy. Uh, more specifically, it's Mars and Aries, and then you've got a four. Okay, nice solid numbers there. So two, two, four. Uh, discontent and boredom. It's basically the four of cups, which is Cancerian energy, right? There's something here that you had to abandon, Sagittarius. And for some of you, it could have been a uh, career. Um, for others of you, it could well have been a partnership. But there's, not again. I'm such a klutz today. Um, moving on. Either way, it's something that you had put your heart and your soul into and you had to abandon it. Now we're seeing with this two of coins, you, you're you now kind of at a bit of a crossroads here. Um, it's like, which way do you go? And you, you can see in this card, uh, there, there's money, there's a relationship, there's something new, or uh, it looks like clouds. So um, that's like uncertain, um, uncertainty, the, the risk, the chance, the gamble. And then here, it's like th this little dude here is trying to pick which door to go through, um, which door is going to be more viable at this point in time. So it's like you, you're weighing up. Um, the, the, for some of you, you're weighing up like your skill set and you, you're wanting to uh, really divulge into your specific skill set and try and make some kind of a living from that. There could, there could well be a return to a past project or career um, that's going to see success for you in your future. Okay. Um, I don't know. Something about this tells me that you're going to take the risk towards the unknown as well. Interesting. A waiting game. A waiting game. You're waiting for some kind of an opportunity to present itself to you. This is interesting. Discontent and boredom. Now, I, I got stuck on this card when it came out because I was like, I've never noticed that before. And you would have seen that I picked up the card and I held it up to my face. The things that I haven't seen in this card before, there's a tower in the background and yes, it does look a bit phallic. Admittedly, it does look quite rude. But that's not what struck me. What struck me is the rainbow here. Now, I've never noticed that in this card before, right? So this would tell me that you had to fight long and hard to get to the point where you're currently at. Um, and then because of circumstances outside of your control, you had to abandon that. 
Um, and obviously with that, it, it has left like a sense of grief. Of course it has. Um, but it, it's showing with this rainbow at his feet there. Um, I'm feeling this is like untapped potential here, Sagittarius. Untapped potential that could see you going quite, quite far. That's interesting. It's like you, you haven't seen that rainbow. See how he's not even looking at it? It's behind him and he's just like looking down at the ground. He hasn't even seen that rainbow yet. There's untapped potential here. I keep calling, I keep... Uh, right, I'm struggling to get my words out. A few times I've nearly called you Pisces as well. So for some of you, uh, you could have Pisces somewhere in your chart or you could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, or it's just the energy that you're embodying right now. It's that going with the flow, rolling with the punches, avoiding planning too far ahead in the future to avoid any kind of disappointment. Um, swings and roundabouts. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to start pulling your tarot and we'll see what else comes out of there. Now, I do have to say that your tarot may or may not be in conjunction with this particular read here. OK, it could be something completely different. Um, it, it's up to you whether it clicks together or not. OK. So Sagittarius, please. You have a nine card spread for Sagittarius. OK, Ace of Wands, Fire Energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Eight of Cups, yeah, Pisces energy. Uh, interesting. So for some of you, uh, something was over before it had even started, basically, before you were able to um, prove your, uh, your worth, your talents, your skill set. It, it, if for some of you, th this could have been like a dream job that came through and you were just getting settled in it and then all of a sudden it was over, right? You got the Ace of Coins, that's Earth Energy, two Aces, nice, so that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, yeah, Ten of Swords, Gemini Energy, definitely an ending here. The Knight of Cups, more Pisces Energy, okay. Um, so something feels really unfair about this situation as well. Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy, Three of Cups. We've been getting that out quite a lot. It's Cancerian Energy. The Four of Cups is also Cancerian. And the Ace of Cups, three Aces now. Uh, water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And at the bottom of the deck is the King of Coins. It's Taurus Energy. So um, with this... It is leaning heavily towards Korea for most of you. You've got the Queen of Wands under there, which is Aries energy, and the Knight of Coins under there is Virgo. So um, a careful assessment here is required because there, there will be um, an opportunity that on the face of it looks like it's the answer to all of your prayers. But I'm feeling that there's something hidden with this. You've got death under there, scorpion. So, and the page of wands, small fire. Um, okay, permanent change that was long coming. Um, brand new path opens up. Something that looks really, really attractive. Really attractive. Th this could be you as well, Sagittarius. This could be you that's looking really, really attractive right now. I will say though, uh, Sag, with this particular combination, the Queen of Wands is someone who um, tends to take on a lot of projects at the same time. Uh, so avoid burning yourself out, okay? Uh, for some of you, you're trying to juggle something that you love, some oh, something that you're really, really good at as a side earner to your full-time career and they're just saying here um, to, to make sure that you take breaks 
often make sure that you're not burning yourself out okay with that king of coins it's all about stability uh, financial stability more more specifically so you might have found that you had to give up something that you loved doing in favor of something that was more financially viable okay it could be that <coughs> it could be that as well for some of you okay um, and certainly, again, with that Ace of Wands and the Eight of Cups, absolutely, yeah, you've had to walk away from something, something before it had reached its full potential. With that uh, Dragonfly energy, it's all about manifesting. Um, so you might have manifested something that um, wasn't necessarily in your best interest. So because of that redirection with you uh, walking away from that with the Eight of Cups, you've walked straight into an ace of coins so you've walked straight into an opportunity that again is financially viable okay um the ten of swords knight of cups and nine of swords there there's a worry here that something isn't as stable as it like as it first appears with this um definitely something has ended um, if this is you, Sagittarius, like if this is you breaking away from a career or a relationship that isn't working for you, then they're saying here to um, approach, approach this ending with uh, sensitivity. It's not that you're usually not sensitive. Um, but that there could well be a concern here with this Nine of Swords. Um, that's the Nightmare card. Um, you, you might be thinking that this is going to be really, really difficult to walk away from this situation that you need to walk away from. So they're saying here to, if you can, avoid overthinking it and do basically what's right for you. Now, for those where this is about love and romance, you could well be needing to break something off with somebody and it's going to require you to be uh, quite sensitive. And for others of you, it's where it gets interesting, for others of you, this is someone who's stressed out about you, Sagittarius, and they're actually stressed out about um, coming towards you with this open, honest conversation that is well-meaning and from the heart. Um, it could, for some of you, be an ex with that particular combination. Um, it's definitely somebody would like to talk to you, uh, someone where things had ended before, Maybe maybe the relationship wasn't given a proper chance in the past. It could be that. And this individual's feeling quite guilty about um, needing to speak to you. So lots of things going on here for lots of different um, Sagittariuses. So, of course, you will have to uh, fit it where, where or if it applies, okay? We do have a reunion here with this Three of Cups, but you're not interested. I'm not seeing that you're going to be picking up this particular opportunity. Again, it's something that you know is not going to work out in your best interest. It's something that ended up in disappointment in the past. Um, you, you could well be feeling hurt still from um, not really being given much of an opportunity before. So th there could be a bit of that, but you're certainly looking, oops, you're certainly looking towards something new, uh, something that is more in alignment with you. It's like you, you're not uh, accepting this a uh, cup, cup of love, cup of emotion, if you like, cup of honesty for some of you. You're not accepting it off of that individual because you're busy. You're busy with your own. You're busy with your own cup. You're busy with your own thing. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm not feeling that you. You've got much interest in the past. Um, it, it's just something that makes you feel exhausted rather than excited. It's, uh, it's a bit of a strange one. What is this in regards to, please, for Sagittarius? No further clarity, please, for Sag. 
the devil, Capricorn energy. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you might have that someplace in your chart. For some of you, it could be your Venus placement. The Six of Wands, Leo energy, victory. Uh, okay, so somebody that you don't trust. This is quite similar to Scorpio's reading that I've just done. And yes, I did take a break in between. I did cleanse and pre-shuffle everything and it's coming out very, very similar. The Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy, yeah. Um, for some, you view an individual around you as a bit of a loud mouth. Uh, you don't trust them and it, it's like every time you confided in them in the past they would go running off to everybody else and like you know using it as a way of getting attention um, using it by means of causing like some kind of gossip just on the whole not a very respectful individual um I don't know if, if this is the person that you walked away from. I don't know how they're fitting into your story, but uh, that they are showing up here. So just be mindful of you being made out to be the bad one in this particular situation. I think that that's why they were saying, Sagittarius, um, be careful and make make certain that when you speak to this individual that you're speaking your truth and that you're speaking from your heart and that you're being uh, sensitive about it because I'm feeling that for some of you you're dealing with an individual who is very very good at basically twisting around your words to suit their own agenda okay so you don't want anything to get twisted against you to you to be used against you you just want to be able to move on with your life and in peace as well you know that that's that's basically all that anybody wants um, I'm not seeing that this is someone who is going to go down without a fight though so and at the bottom of that deck five of wands leo energy yeah conflict drama um gossip again unnecessary you know the five of wands is all of that crap that is so so unnecessary and completely avoidable as well uh, so there is that wow um okay so if you've made it this far into the reading, then please do consider give me a cheeky wee like, a subscribe or a comment, <clears throat> maybe even all three if you're feeling really, really generous. And thank you so, so much to all of those who have already supported my channel. Honestly, words cannot express how much I appreciate every single one of you. Okay, this is Sagittarius, please. A healing message for Sarge, please. Oh, if you're curious about this deck, it's called The Elemental Oracle. It's absolutely amazing by Stacey DeMarco. I highly, highly recommend it. It's so, so good. Right, so Sarge, please. Clear. Oh, okay. Right, so you've got two. Purity, Ice and Bravery, Oceans. Now, I'm going to read out both of these to you. For those of you who are interested in uh, the numbers, the numbers that are jumping out here is 333 three, three and 224. OK, so I don't know if they are significant to anybody, but that is there. Right. Uh, I always say with these decks, you get three messages. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. OK, so really take a close look at the card, relax your body and whatever the first thing that comes to you for that particular card. OK. Right. Purity. The way forward is clear. See nature in its purity. Let it comfort and strip away what is unnecessary. Freeze out what is not of benefit to you at this time. When you look at things clearly, there will be a purity to the solution. OK. And the ruling element of this particular card is water. Right. And then you've got bravery oceans. 
go forth and explore. You won't see much if you keep to, if you keep the shore always in sight. Be brave in your choices. This is not the time for you to be fearful. Someone who is close to you has a hidden side. And it is best to be mindful of this in your decision making. Yeah, I was I was feeling that with that loud mouth here um, talking about you behind your back. And again, the ruling element for this card is water again. So with this, I'm feeling that someone's trying to push your buttons here, Sagittarius, and they're trying to make you out. Uh, either to be weak or they're trying to emotionally blackmail you into staying in a situation that you don't want to be in anymore. Um, it, this could be a combination of a whole load of different things. But the main message that I'm getting here for you Sagittarius is it's time for you to be brave and um, see that rainbow, see the potential. That rainbow is your potential. You don't need anyone else's validation to tell you who you are, right? You really, really don't. Um, and be be mindful of this loud mouth here. Don't tell them anything, obviously. Don't don't give them any kind of personal information. Don't uh, don't let them in on your plans because I'm feeling that they will do whatever they can to try and sabotage your ace of coins, right? Which you don't want. You 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 want to protect this i mean that's your future that's your potential that needs protecting it's a seed that you plant and then after you've planted it you don't walk away from it once you've planted whatever this is uh, nurture it look after it and grow it it's something that um that can take you through to this king of coins energy which is being in charge of your own future okay financial stability as well for some of you um th there's also another warning here sagittarius that right now throughout the month of february especially if anything looks too good to be true then you can bet your ass that it is okay so yeah really really interesting read what well, sagittarius is focus please Sagittarius is focus. Oh, where are you going? Oh, too old for this. Okay, so your focus is serenity, taking care of your vibration, positive environment, clear space, and chakra energy balancing. So, serenity. Don't let anybody uh, come between you and how you feel about yourself okay don't let anybody uh interfere with your plans clear clear them out right um find your center and try try not to give this individual any kind of a reaction because positive or negative it's still a reaction. It's still what they want, and they they still kind of like feed off it, basically. Also, highest expression, fulfilling your life's purpose, soul contract, destiny, co-create with the universe, bliss, and knowing your worth. Yeah, absolutely. Don't allow anybody to tell you who you are. You already know who you are, Sagittarius. You already know that you're more than capable. Uh, you, you simply do not need their BS in your life, um, especially not if it's going to hold you back and make you question yourself as well. Right, so for your final Oracle deck, I need to give a warning for anybody who is not familiar with me or the Rebel deck. Um, this deck can be quite obnoxious and blunt, a bit like me sometimes. Um, so yeah, it's up to you who you divvy, divvy up these cards to. Okay, so you could take some of them for yourself or you could say, ah, right, that card is for such and such. Okay, um, so it's completely up to you. That was my light going crazy. I'll just have to turn that off a second. It's, it's going mad. Um, it broke on the, the Libra read. Right, so I'll have to make do without. You think someone is lying? They are. Absolutely. 
Eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. You, If you're waiting for a sign, here it fucking is. And stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your will, so do it. Yeah, really, really nice read. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. It's really, really quick and easy to place your book in. Just follow the link down there. It'll take you straight to my website and from there you can view all of the different booking options available. Um, a couple of quick announcements as well before I go. Uh, shadow work reads, yes, they are now available on my website. Um, please be mindful though, the shadow work reads are intended for those who are deadly, deadly serious about taking on that inner work, okay? It, it's not for the faint hearted. Um, so yeah, they are now available. My merchandise is also available from Teespring, which you can also check out below. Um, they come in all different designs. You can get the, you can't really see it properly. Um, this one is the Phoenix design. It is on both sides as well because I, I don't like having like one plain side. Um, this is the non-branded version. The other version available does have Phoenix Kia Tarot written on it and there's so much like from pillows to hoodies to phone cases. Uh, so much really cool stuff there. Twin flame designs are available as well. Um, also, I'm releasing Valentine special readings <clears throat> on February the 14th. So please do make sure that you've hit the notifications bell because you do not want to miss out on those. Also, a huge, huge thank you to everyone who has viewed my videos, sent in donations, booked private readings with me and even shared their stories with me as well. Thank you so, so much for making this a safe and really friendly community. Honestly, you're all absolutely incredible. Finally, I would like to give a really quick shout out to a couple of readers right here on YouTube. Now, I'm not affiliated with them. I just believe that they're massively underrated. And this is also my way of giving back into this amazing community. So we've got Sentient Fire and Wolf in the Wind. Um, if you're sticking around on YouTube for a bit, then you might be interested in checking them out. Really, really incredible people who are just trying to grow their YouTube channel. So yeah, that is it from me. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.